hello friends what's up this is ron here and in this king of fighters all-star video we are going to talk about the ex volume 3 characters because uh, today net marvel actually released this one of this uh, their forum notices where they actually gave us some indication about the future ex fighter from the volume 3 and they actually published this slow image and they asked us actually to guess who is going to be the fighter and probably a lot of you have already guessed this that who is going to be the fighter and this is going to be the king of fighters 15 Cronin. and as we talked before uh, in before the release of the ex angel banner that uh, Cronin actually belongs to the same team of angel and Cronin and angel both are actually friends and they have a, a long relationship so we are going to talk about these things later but the thing is both of both of these fighters are related to each other so in this uh, volume 3 ex volume 3 netmarvel decided to bring the other partner of ex anhel who is going to be cronen so you guys should should just uh, go ahead and answer the quiz just uh, type cronen's name and maybe you can get lucky and get this ex summon tickets from here so my friends we in this video we are going to deal with the story of Cronen who is Cronen and we are going to talk about things like who is going to be the other uh, teammate in EX volume 3 because we know that two characters will come and probably another character is going to be one of those old SS or BS fighters who is uh, who has some relationship with Cronen definitely otherwise then are not going to appear there is a probability so we are going to talk about these sort of things also i am going to uh, think about or talk about or share about my uh, predictions about the character typings dots and these sort of things so you guys can just have a good idea about it so let's go and talk about these things but before we go ahead my friends as i always ask you just please please give this video a like maybe subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already maybe leave a comment and share your opinions because these sort of things actually helps me a lot as a youtuber so my friends let's go and check out today's topic so first just let's talk about who actually Cronin is and Cronin is one of those new fighters who is who has actually appeared in king of fighters uh, 15 the final installment of the game and he actually was uh, literally never uh, he was none of uh, those fighters who actually appeared before in other canonical version of this uh, king of fighters series but there is of course another fighter with him he has a lot of uh, relations in terms of his appearance especially in terms of his fighting style and everything and uh, also story wise he has a relationship with those characters and the character is going to be the K9999 that is K Tetra 9 that character is actually Cronin and uh, there is some uh, reason that uh, why we uh, don't see K Tetra 9 you can see probably you guys are already familiar with this character he is K Tetra 9 that is K9999 that means he is actually the 9999th clone of Kyo Kusanagi which was a part of an experiment that was uh, done by the nests in order to create more biological weapons and as a project uh, of nests K Tetra 9 was actually created in order to destroy the traitors who actually left nests uh, for example characters like k dash he ha started hating uh, uh, the, the the nests and he actually left nests and this is why these sort of traitors who left nest k tetra 9's job is to destroy them and he this is why he was actually infused with lot of power from the experiments uh, of the nests K Tetra 9 was a very arrogant and evil personality and he was infused with uh, all the evil traits from the nests and he was basically not a good guy because he actually uh, wanted to destroy uh, both uh, 
Foxy and Kula and she uh, literally killed Foxy and that's why uh, Kula had to run away and she uh, uh, both uh, Kate and I and Angel actually fought against uh, Foxy and uh, they killed Foxy but uh, they couldn't uh, weren't able to kill Kula Kula just ran away and the interesting part about uh, K Tetra 9 is actually K Tetra 9 was not uh, a part of SNK's original development of characters. In fact, he was not even developed by SNK because he, the, he was uh, first uh, appearing appeared uh, uh, as a playable character in King of Fighters 2001 and that game was actually not developed by SNK because SNK back in those days were actually suffering from bankruptcy and actually uh, the, the game itself was developed by another uh, Korean gaming company that is known as Eolith and Eolith has a partnership or some relationship with uh, and other entities but uh, most importantly the fact is uh, the character of K Tetra 9 was not even designed by the SNK at all. So, uh, SNK, uh, without SNK, uh, I mean uh, the company that Idolith, uh, they actually designed this character based on this character right here that is known as Tatsui Shima. And this character is the antagonist of one of the uh, famous animated film called Akira. You can you guys can actually check that out uh, but this character is based on the Tatsui Shima from Akira and as you guys are already familiar with this famous move of uh, K Tetra 9 where actually his hands turns into something fleshy monstrous thing that uh, can hit uh, the opponent from a very long distance this is also a property of Tatsui Ashima that on antagonist from that uh, animated movie. However, soon uh, SNK actually uh, uh, were, were uh, free from the difficulties, from the financial difficulties, they were uh, able to get away from their bankruptcy and they uh, came back in the gaming industry pretty, pretty soon. And the reason is uh, they, they, uh, uh, they got back to themselves uh, with their uh, own production team and everything like before and they started uh, uh, producing the games like before and due to some uh, I mean uh, copyright issues they were not able to bring back K Tetra 9 in the subsequent games and probably a lot of people think that uh, SNK hates uh, get it an eye or something like that but not right that is not right the right thing is it was a copyright issue and uh, the thing is uh, uh, the character is totally uh, copied from uh, the character of Tatsui Shima of Akira so this is why it was impossible for Net, uh, in SNK to bring back this character in its original form so what they did they realized that uh, the uh, move sets or actions of these characters are quite familiar in the fans among the fans so they decided to create another character that is you guys all know that that is nameless and you guys know that the similarity between the uh, move sets and everything uh, of nameless and uh, Kate Tetra 9 but still there are major differences but uh, SNK were was not able to bring back K Tetra 9 but still they decided to keep the at least some of the move sets of the character in the game and in this way they actually formed nameless in order to make those move sets available in the game so people can keep playing but finally in the uh, latest edition of uh, their King of Fighters franchise they actually brought back uh, this K Tetra 9 in a modern form as you can see that uh, he's uh, uh, he has a pretty amazing and modern uh, or futuristic uh, sort of costume and uh, a lot of youtubers actually pointed out that he has a gloves which is kind of you know it looks really really old as you can see that blue 
color is somewhere present, somewhere not. So it looks like he has some sort of worn out appearances and uh, probably he is wandering, uh, I know, I don't know, some, maybe somewhere, but in any ways, he is a very arrogant personality. He has a direct uh, enmity towards uh, Keidash and Bo, uh, Kusanagi both. He hates those characters to the bone and he actually forms an immediate rivalry with those characters. And as you can see from the dialogues that we saw in the trailer that he is a freaking arrogant character. And uh, uh, he has actually placed himself as the new antagonist of Kyokusanagi. And uh, his first appearance is about hating or trying to beat Kusanagi. And for some other reasons, he actually has the same rivalry against Keidash, who is also a nest agent. But it is not like he hates everyone. He has some people in his life who he actually adores. And uh, probably the best uh, friend or partner is the teammate and Anhel. And is, it has... Uh, uh, from the very beginning, both uh, K-89, uh, 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 in his days K-89 was uh, a friend of Anhel. He actually was very, very fond of her. And uh, as a consequence, K Cronen himself is also a friend of uh, uh, Anhel because both of them are actually the same guy. And both of them along with uh, SS Kula, uh, Kula Diamond they actually forms the team Cronen in King of Fighters 15. Now from this point we can actually make a pretty solid gaze about the appearance of SS Kula as the partner of Cronen in EX Volume 3. I think that is uh, totally possible. That is totally possible and totally logical because these two characters are having deep connection within them. They are teammates. So they should appear, but uh, it is going to be conflicting with the poll results, by the way, my friends, because according to, to the poll that is Netmarvel actually following to uh, uh, make their order of uh, releasing fighters, S. Skula actually was not among the popular ones. In fact, she was among the least popular ones. and. Uh, I don't know why she actually received some poor amount of votes and her position is actually the last. So I don't know what Netmarvel is going to do but uh, if they keep following the uh, poll results then it should be SSQ, uh, the appearance of SSQ because uh, you guys have already seen that he has a striking rivalry with Kyo Kusanagi. And SSQ is a Kyo Kusanagi. So it also makes perfect sense because the, they both can actually appear together and the banner is going to be like one hell of a rivalry ride. So this is this is perfectly possible. I think SSQ is going to be the character, but in other ways, SS Kula can actually have a very, very good potential. Now let's talk about the probable typing of uh, the character itself and as you can see that both in EX volume 1 and volume 2 we have actually got our characters. In first uh, volume 1 we got attack type red character EXQ, in volume 2 we got balance type character uh, in green that is unhell. So we both already got one attack, one balance type and probably this is going to be the time when it's time for a defense type character. So in my opinion, uh, his typing is probably going to be a defense type. And uh, regarding colors, I think in my opinion that uh, probably his color is going to be blue. So he is probably going to be a blue defense character because the thing is as the partner of these guys we found uh, boss syndrome Leona as the partner of EX Anhel and we found e uh, SS Yori as a partner of uh, 
exq in volume on now both of these characters are purple type characters so they are already a uh, lot of purples around in recent times so i don't really think that it is going to be a purple in any ways uh, and uh, probably the color of our ex chronin is going to be blue also yolo has a very good possibility but uh, there is my theory about it is like uh, another new release like uh, it's not re new release the uh, um, the kusanagi i mean the evil version of kyo that is available in the uh, dream matches these days he actually has a yolo color so my just wild guess that uh, Cronin is probably going to be a blue defense fighter. And regarding the dots, I would like to say that Cronin has definitely uh, pyrokinesis abilities because he is a clone of Kyo Kusanagi. But of course, his pyrokinesis is not going to be as good as that of Kyo Kusanagi because uh, as we saw that we saw inferior burn damage dealing abilities in K-9 but that doesn't mean that Kyo, uh, Kronen is going to be weak in any ways I'm not saying that I'm just saying that his uh, uh, pyrokinesis is not, is not going to be as strong as Kyo but definitely he is going to be a freaking damage dealer because he actually should have a lot of lot of mechanisms and he is actually one of the latest experience experiments by nest so the, he, he is going to be way way more powerful so my friends let me know what you feel about the arrival of uh, the new ex volume 3 character cronen what do you think about the character please let me know in the comments hope to see you guys soon in some other videos till then stay awesome and peace out my friends